guys, it's Shannon here with iHeartRadio Nights with Len and Stella. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank I'm you I'm so excited me. that you're here. I am so excited. Okay, so you had your first show last night here in Toronto. Yes. Is it nice having it close to home for your first show? It was so nice. Like, all my family was there. It was, yeah, it was the nicest. Yeah, is that so nerve-wracking cool. then with your family or that who you're most comfortable performing around? No, it's definitely more nerve-wracking. Is it? No, totally. It's because also, like... So my family's massive. My mom is like one of eight brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. So we have like a massive family. And um, and I don't see them often because I live in Nashville. So mm-hmm. like it's definitely like more nerve wracking for yeah. sure. Because they've been watching everything I've been doing from like afar almost because we just I haven't seen them. And and so it's like it's definitely nerve wracking. Yeah. 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 So you grew up on a farm, mm-hmm. right? Or like farmland. Yeah. Um, and I, you said in an interview before that you grew up with like without Internet or TV. Yeah. We had no Internet and we had like tv for movies which yeah. we just watched like the same like three movies over and over but we what never movies? had like cable labyrinth is like my favorite really <laughs> labyrinth really? is literally okay, like yeah. all i've ever seen um yeah i was we just watched movies and that we never had tv until yeah. we actually were on tv which is so weird that is so weird yeah. did you ever feel like you didn't fit in with kids your own age because you wouldn't get certain references and things totally i mean i feel like me and my sister both have just kind of always like i mean I don't know. I feel like I've always felt like just slightly outcasty, which not in a bad way. It sounds yeah. bad, but like, yeah, totally. I don't know if it's because I didn't watch TV or just because I've always just felt that way. But yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Do you think yeah. that helps with the career that you're in now? Like kind of having being that outcast? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. Totally. And I think that I think it makes it me like because I did start so young and like there's moments of like life that people would think they like missed out on or like right. you know kid things that they didn't get to experience but I feel like because that's like my personality and I've always felt that way like I would be this regardless of my career so it kind yeah. of helps me in that sense where I'm just like I feel like this is very much what I'm meant to be doing you yeah know? and you haven't had a typical upbringing at yeah. all compared no, to anybody completely. your age yeah, yeah especially starting on Nashville how old were you 12 I was 12 yeah, yeah. how is it like being in the spotlight like that in such a pivotal time in your life because for girls that's like a crazy 100 percent. yeah no that's like that was the weirdest part of it is being like very um like watched you yeah. know from 12 to 18 those are moments when like those are just like very important times when you're supposed to like be able to like explore and like figure out like do I want to dye my hair blue? Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. Like, that's actually, like, you don't really think it's so important until, like, you're not able to do it. And then it's just, like, you feel a little, like, boxed in. So that was definitely a thing that was weird, having that part of my life documented. But yeah. at the same time, it's, like, so cool looking back now and and having that all just, like, on camera. Like, those years of my life. And also, I was with my sister. So yeah. it's, like, it's a really cool thing. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. And so Maisie's kind of in a different situation now because you said she goes to regular school. She's doing online school now, but oh, she, she just went to online school. So she went back to public school after the show ended, and then now she's doing online school. Oh, but, crazy. Do you, yeah. What kind of advice do you give her for being so young? And she obviously has a huge following as well. Um, do you give her any sort of advice? Yeah. I mean, I feel like we're kind of in it together in a lot of ways. And with her, she's younger, so it's like she's a sophomore now. And mm-hmm. I, like, got to experience public school until middle of 10th grade. So, like she didn't like she got out in sixth grade so I'm just like it's important that she gets that like normal high school experience that like I got to go to prom and like you know what I mean like I was still filming the show but I was in public school whereas like I just want her to experience that and I think it's like really important for like just growing as a human yeah and that's that's the advice I give to her is just like stick in that kind of kid zone for as long as you can totally you know? yeah okay let's talk about bitch okay um how that's gotta be so exciting that just came so out exciting. how has the reaction been so awesome yeah it's been so awesome it was really cool playing it live you know everyone like you hear i read dms and like hear people talking about it, but like seeing everyone sing it in my face was like very cool that's and be. it just was like uh like oh you guys actually listen like <laughs> that's cool yeah, yeah so it was um it's pretty cool yeah that's awesome what is your definition of a bitch Oh, man, a bitch? Well, in this song, I mean, a definition of a bitch could yeah. be so many different things. But to you. In this song, I feel like the kind of idea was that it was actually, like, it, this wasn't a story that actually happened to me. We just kind of came up with this concept, but of a boyfriend calling a girlfriend a bitch, and she says it back to him, like, just kind of, like, takes a bitch to know a bitch, you know? Mm-hmm. So in this sense, it's just, I think it's actually more of an empowering thing, like, you call me a bitch, I'm calling you a bitch. Like, it's yeah. not one-sided thing. And, and I think, you know, when guys call girls bitches it's always just like it's never taken seriously it's just like you can say it so you know passive and yeah. 
And I think it's a, an important thing to be able to say back and stand up for yourself. So that's what it means in this song. Yeah, that's true. Because it's such a like derogatory term towards it women. Is, but we yeah. like, never use it towards men. Never. Unless, yeah, yeah it's it's ne- it's not like it's not like that. And he would never say it back if someone was like, well, you're being a bitch. I just can't ever, you yeah. know, that's so that's the thing that I think should be done more. Yeah, crazy. Okay, so you say that this song wasn't necessarily about a situation with you, but bad yeah. was. Bad was. We have to, <laughs> I have, okay, was. I have a lot of questions okay, about bad. So it's about, okay, people know what it's about. So it's about you being with somebody that you found out was with a girl for six years. Yes. While you were with him. How long were you with him? I was with him for like six months. Okay. Five months, maybe. How do you not Instagram? How do you? No, trust me. That was what was so weird. I mean, there's so many things that could go on forever. Yeah. But like, there was so many things. He would get so weird about me Instagramming. And one time I Instagrammed and he literally said to me, <laughs> I kid you not. He said, he's like, I am so overwhelmed by your fans. Like, I, they're people. Like, <laughs> D- they DMing me and like, I'm so overwhelmed. Like, yeah. I don't like to be the center of attention. Like, I don't like to be on like in the spotlight. So please delete that. Like, I don't want any of your fans like writing me. And I was like, Okay, fair enough. Because yeah. there are people who, like, don't want me posting it then because, like, right. fan pages do, like, you know, which I think is awesome, but some people don't like that attention. So, like, I was like, okay, that's weird because you're an actor. So, like, okay. I shouldn't have just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's weird, but, like, okay, fine. And, you know, whatever. So I was like, I'll delete it, but it's noted that that's weird. And then it was just like, I couldn't take pictures of him. And it, it, it was, that's, that should have been my red flag, but right. somehow I just let that slide. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. Did he not have any photos of the girlfriend? No, no. And they've been together for six years? Yep. That is so yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. Was there any other red up. flags that came up that you were like, oh, I should have seen this? Oh, there were so many. I mean, the whole time I like must have just been like colorblind. I have really? no idea how I did not see all the red flags. And then just, how do you, fi- how do you find that out? It was through Instagram. Okay. I saw on his Instagram story, or no, I saw, and there was a whole long thing, yeah, but okay. basically I ended up on her Instagram story and I saw a picture of him and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? But yeah. Just like perk up. Like, yeah, yeah, I was like, what is happening? And then I called her and then we talked and yeah, it was it was craziness, but yeah. yeah. And you actually became friends with her. Right? Yeah, she's amazing. Are she's you guys really still cool. good friends? Yeah, she's so awesome. And the way she, the way she was able to like handle it all and, and, um, it was very, it was really cool. Yeah. It, the way she did it was really, really cool. Oh, that's nice. She just, like, handled it really well. Yeah, handled it really well and, like, made it, like, we were going through it together rather than, you know, because, I mean, we're in very different spots. Like, I dated him for, like, six months. You dated yeah. him for six years. Like, you're allowed to be way more upset than I am. You yeah. know what I mean? And she just was a, it was very much like we were going through it together kind of thing, totally. which I thought was cool. But that's going to be hard for you, too. Of to course, yeah. Like, no, it was so hard for both of us. But I think that it would it would have been easier for her to, like, be like I'm just like realistically like most girls would be like oh my god and they would hate the other girl that came in you know that's like she didn't know anything yeah she didn't yeah I didn't know anything she didn't know anything like it was very but like most girls would if a girl came in and like stole their boyfriend like for all she knows like that just like most girls would instantly like hate that girl and so I just thought it was really cool that she like came in with open arms and was like let's go through this together and yeah. I think that that just like said a lot about her so yeah she's really cool yeah that's she's, how he's women not really cool <laughs> but she's not he's he's not really cool but she's really cool that's yeah. awesome is it hard though to trust <laughs> people after that oh yeah I mean that definitely like made me put my guard up but I think it was needed for me to put my guard up in a lot of ways and I'm like very trusting and of everyone and I think that that's why it happened is because I like just was like surely nothing's happening <laughs> like surely this guy doesn't have a girlfriend yeah exactly because i'm just like i never like assume that or like would ever even think that somebody could possibly do that so i think that it in a lot of ways was a good thing to have happened to me just because it made me be a little bit more cautious of like who i let in right like fully let in you yeah. know and it makes a good song so. yeah it makes a good song <laughs> yeah that's awesome how does it feel to have so many artists all of a sudden supporting you like john mayer came to one of your shows craziness yeah w- working with 1d how is that all it's feel? it's been so so cool and it's it's really cool and it's just like exactly like john mayer like someone i respect so much musically and like that is just the biggest compliment you know when like there's somebody that you really genuinely like admire and it's like it's not just someone that's just like famous you know it's like someone that you really like admire that's like admiring you is like the craziest thing yeah it's so cool that's gotta be awesome so yeah and you were a big 1d fan right totally yeah to do so much with liam yes how was that whole experience so awesome he's the greatest i was yeah i didn't even know what to expect going into it and like he was just so cool and so nurturing and I, I was very like 
new to that scene and I just right. kind of got thrown into it and like he was just so cool the whole time yeah yeah he's really awesome is that nerve-wracking then just getting thrown into something when it's so new or did you totally. like since you already had so much experience with Nashville and all this stuff no no it was, totally it, was it was new it was totally different just yeah. because like it was just a different like it was just a totally different like ballpark like that the show was very very different like you know being on stage with like Liam who's obviously been in One Direction he like is very like you know knows how to perform perform and mm -hmm. and like very like dancey song we're like at these stadiums i'm like well, i don't know how to do this like i've just right. never done this before and it's also not my song you know so there's a lot of parts of it that were very like very scary for me yeah. and he definitely made a point of making me comfortable which i thought was really cool yeah and this is obviously a big transitional time in your life too from yeah. coming off of the show to starting your own solo career what do you find is like the biggest learning curve with everything that you've been going through hmm i feel like me just understanding that like I'm the one in charge and right. like I'm the one like leading it all and that just to kind of follow and like trust my own instincts is like been something that I've been like really focusing on because I don't know I'm always super I'm just so like such a perfectionist that's really hard for me to like ever settle on something yeah. so um I think in all of this like I've just more and more just like learning to just like trust myself and and like that's the only way that it's going to remain honest is if I like do just follow you know my instincts and that's just something i've been learning throughout yeah. it and it's obviously worked so far Thank you.